Welcome back, everyone. It does feel pretty nice outside right now. Temperatures are currently in the 70s and the mid to upper 60s in most spots. It's also been breezy throughout the day today, and we are still dealing with that wind right now. Sustained wind speeds are currently between 10 and 25 miles per hour. The strongest wind currently along central and eastern portions of the High Line. On the Opportunity Bank of Montana weather camera, we have had a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day today, and a few showers have been working their way through the Helena Valley during the day today as well. In Great Falls, very similar weather on the Great Falls Clinic Icon. We have had partly cloudy skies throughout the day, and there have been some showers working their way through the Electric City throughout the afternoon and the evening. There are scattered showers and thunderstorms around throughout the entire state of Montana right now, and that precipitation is associated with this upper level trough. And as we go through the next few days, an upper level trough is going to be in control of our weather, which means there are going to continue to be scattered showers and thunderstorms around tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, especially during the PM hours. We are going to continue to have a northwesterly flow aloft as well, which will bring some cooler air into our area, which means we are going to have below our temperatures for the next few days with highs generally in the 60s and the 70s with Wednesday being the coolest and wettest day of the next week. As we go through Independence Day, that upper level trough will work its way into the Great Plains, and that will allow this upper level ridge to start to build into our area as we head into Friday and this weekend. This will be in complete control of our weather as we head into this weekend, which means a lot of sunshine, mostly dry conditions, and much warmer temperatures. Now, as we go through this evening and the first half of tonight, there are going to continue to be some scattered showers and thunderstorms around. That precipitation will generally taper off once we get past midnight with just a couple isolated showers and thunderstorms. We're also going to have partly cloudy skies for this evening and tonight. Tomorrow's weather will be similar to today's weather, so we are going to have a mixture of sun and clouds throughout the day. There are going to be scattered showers and thunderstorms around throughout the day tomorrow, generally during the afternoon and the evening hours, though, and especially in the northern half of the state. That's where you have the best chance to see that precipitation. A bit drier in the northern or southern half of the state, including around Helena. A few showers and thunderstorms are still possible, but not expecting as much precipitation in the southern half of the state southern half of the state as we go through tomorrow. Still some scattered showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night and then more scattered showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast as we head into Wednesday. We are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day on Wednesday as well. So definitely keep that rain jacket handy if you are going to be outdoors at all over the next few days. The breezy conditions will taper off as we go through this evening with just a little bit of a breeze overnight tonight mainly along the Rocky Mountain front. For tomorrow, it is going to be a bit breezy, but the wind will be weaker than it was today. Sustained wind speeds are going to be between 10 and 20 miles per hour in most locations. Little to no wind as we head into tomorrow night. And then on Wednesday, we'll be a bit breezy once again with sustained wind speeds between 10.